Mission accomplished for the Blue Origin spacecraft carrying Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos and three other passengers. The new Shepard rocket lifted up into the sky, then landed safely after the 10 minute journey. Well, lots of excited space fans had their eyes glued to today's launch. And KPX 5's Kate Doe caught up with some of them at the Chabot Space and Science Center that is celebrating another galactic victory. Jeff Bezos is not the only one making big news today. Chabot Space and Science Center announcing they're on track four months away from their grand reopening. They say they are reinventing the space museum experience. But first, that historic rocket launch. NASA Ames Research Center Director Eugene Tu says he's thrilled for Jeff Bezos. Is there envy in there? Uh, no, there's no envy. There's, there's really uh, excitement. Oh, wow. Chabot's executive director, Adam Tobin, says Blue Origin's success benefits everyone. Every time there's a launch and every time there's a new milestone in space exploration, we get excited. Uh, no matter who's doing it? No matter who's doing it. Back here on Earth, it may not look like much now, but when it's done, the new NASA experience at Chabot promises to boldly go where no museum has gone before. But this is really different. We're not looking just to put a, an artifact or museum piece in that will talk about the history. We're looking to make this experience something about current and the future as well. Now just getting it ready. Chabot's 80,000 square foot facility will feature ever evolving exhibits from Ames, including the Astro B flying robot, the long running and popular Spheres program, a group of floating test satellites, and of course, a miniature version of NASA Ames' world renowned high speed wind tunnel. And young students, listen up. NASA Ames will be on the lookout for the Bay Area's best and brightest. Potentially have a pipeline of high school interns at NASA and maybe they will choose a career path in space, maybe not. Even if they don't, they'll gain from that knowledge and, and gain from that in whatever their future endeavors are. And I remember my first time here, I was like, wow. Sage Mosley and Lily Zhang say for many kids, the exhibits will put a career in space within reach. It's definitely going to, like I said earlier, spark like a huge amount of interest in these kids. I feel like STEM seems kind of like an intimidating career path maybe. And like, I think having museums like really helps the gap. Maxwell Edmonds Drotty says the new exhibits may inspire kids who don't know what they don't know. Do I want to be an astronaut? Do I want to be a chemist? I don't know because my school doesn't have a program for either, but like Chabot gives that to you. Chabot says ultimately it's about giving kids the confidence to go on to do amazing things. The ability to formulate your own questions, your own curiosity, and then see that through, through experimentation, through testing, through trying, through uh, a just bold pursuit of your ideas. That's empowerment. In Oakland, Kitto, KPIX 5.